right, so we've got a nice clean space. Good job, Cliff. For another car. All right. We are moving on the 64 and a half. It's an all out assault on that Shelby back there and the 64 and a half. Joe and Bobby are focusing on her and we're attempting to get her done today. That's the goal. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we are also going to start breakdown two on um, the 73 for Tim 73. <coughs> Parts are still coming in. But here we go 64 and a half, rock and roll. So, what are you up to? Got the distributor out. I'm going to. Pull the top part up off apart and see why it's getting it's so sticky in there. See if I can actually fix it, or uh, if we, well, I'm gonna have to replace it. All right, yeah. So we got a sticky. Uh... It's just it's the spring. The, the advanced weights are not moving. The springs are not pulling. Yeah. Something's something's bent or tight or something. Right. So we're looking into that, and we've got the lead springs done as you guys have seen before. And I'm gonna get an update by Bobby and all the other things that are happening today on this car. Also, the disc brakes are done. So I'm going to check through the checklist. So Joe's discovered the distributor issue, and here are the details, guys. Advance off. Wait a minute, do it again. Okay, you pull the back of the advance off. Get back the, in advance. Get the brake plate out of the way. Plate. And, and the return springs on the counterweights. I start lifting up on this, and it's it's greasy. It's not bent. You can. It's coming off smooth, but it's just really tight. And somebody's put something in there. It's like glue or something. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to clean it up and uh, put it back together and see how it works. Yeah, there was some kind of strange, almost adhesive inside, gooey substance inside of your distributor. So we're dealing with that now to uh, get this fixed for you, Howard. And uh, he's going to clean that up and get it to spring it, back. It could be just 40, 40 something year old grease. Yeah, it's know? kind of it's kind of strange that they put a, an old distributor on a on a uh, a motor with. Brand new motor, crate motor with a 200,000, 200 miles on it. That's again another odd thing we discover when we start working on these cars. What do you think, Rachel? Is Joe doing a good job? Yeah. Okay. Thank good. you. All right, you got you get the Rachel stamp. Now I have to buy you some candy. <laughs> <laughs> Never buy candy from strangers, Rachel. It's candy from strangers. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you're not a stranger. It was just humor. All right, good job. All right, so we found the goo and the issue. Step away from the tank. Step away from the tank. What is that stuff? That's a cleaner that uh, Joe uses to clean all his parts at. It looks like dirty water. Safe to clean. Mm -hmm. Safe dirty to water, clean. Dirty water. <laughs> to Joe's credit, he caught that thing. He's, he's checking it out. He's become the distributor master here at Mustang Medic. But, um... Good catch, and the performance is definitely going to be way better on that car. And uh, I'm glad we discovered that for Howard. So that's what's going on today, Howard. Your 64 is getting handled.